What's up, bros? And welcome to From the Depths. Alright, so, um, in my tutorials, if some of you have watched my tutorials for the advanced weaponry, this was the uh, boat that I was uh, building the AA guns on, and I did tell you guys that I would show you the finished product of that boat. I ended up changing the AA into a single turrets because they were pretty pretty uh, bulky in the double turrets uh, the boat was probably about mm, another like uh, four meter beam on both sides it probably would have done it honestly but as you can see there's only a width of like five blocks I believe in between their backs and I just kind of built a walkway and then like a little pedestal thing over here to like make it look full whatnot so it's not just a flat piece of thing so um i do believe that they fire at point two i put it at yes i put it at point two so it had like a reloading effect um I forget if it's yeah i put them on two second yeah so like you can see how it just like reloads a little bit i apologize briz um the uh, turrets, uh, here let me show you, uh, these when we go in to change their uh, slot, that's for actually firing the weapon in order, to, if you have it on a uh, axis, you have to come down here and actually change this too, unlike the custom weapons, uh, it was just you needed to change uh, the cannon and then it would turn with it, but apparently it doesn't, or I've just never experienced that, so now that they work, <laughs> mouse is going out now. They can uh, turn 180 almost, a little past 180, because uh, they can turn here, but they really can't fire over that unless, unless it's straight up. Um, they can actually fire in front of the boat. I want to get back here so I'm not, like, shooting each other. So, it's kind of nice, and I do believe they are flat grounds, if I'm not mistaken. I thought they were flat, flat grounds. Let me check this. They might not be. I think I might have changed them. I have no idea why they weren't firing for some reason. There might, it might have been my mouse, maybe. But, uh, they're working now. So, um, I definitely like how, uh, they just have that, like, half a second of fire and they stop, and then they go again. It kind of gives it, like, a realistic, ooh, whoops. Um, there was a major fuck up, guys. <laughs> but, um, it, it makes it seem more realistic than firing 300 rounds a second non-stop in for the entire battle. Like, that's like, what the hell. But um, the, the freaking advanced guns go so far. Like seriously, I'm, I'm probably, boat's almost already out of render range. It's about halfway there. That was only at like a 20-30 degree angle. So yeah, it gets pretty far. Um, no. I actually had a engine in the bottom of the boat, but I decided to make, where am I, the engine in here. Because if you put exhaust, the exhaust comes up and it goes out through these and it looks cool, yada yada yada, you know, you know how it is. Um, the ammo, uh, custom ammo stuff for the cannons is a little hard to do honestly because you need if you want these guns this boat's not the size for those guns because this is full of the ammo and then you come down here and it's full of the ammo I actually had it in compartments and uh, I had different shells going into the cannons but it never worked sadly um, but uh full like this covers all of my cannons just barely I don't know why those are there um, just ammo. <laughs> you just don't. You don't really need a lot. Just put ammo processors. You'll be fine. All right now the uh, the main cannon is. I was I was actually debating on how to actually make it work good, but it's just about one bullet. Oh, two rounds a second or something like that. I think it's, it actually might be four. Yeah, I put it at four. But uh, the only issue is it goes through the. the I think each barrel holds 12 rounds of fire, I think. It's either that or it's like, it's like 8 to 12, I do believe. And you have to wait like 5, 6 seconds for it to come back and then you do it again. I mean, like, pretty decent boat. There is no shields, uh, no missiles, and no anti-missiles, no lasers. 
there are torpedoes. Uh, cannons stop moving. So it, it's a, uh, it's not a terrible bow. It definitely has no defenses. <laughs> now what you guys are actually here for today is, let me uh, load in this. Oh, I didn't save it. Oh crap. All right, you know what? We're just gonna start making a new one. Okay. Now this will be a very very manual uh, ship to uh, use because the AI can't use the maneuvering system that I actually built into it. So it actually has to be controlled by a player. But the weapon system is AI controlled, so that should be okay for the most part. Um, whenever you first start trying to figure out how the uh, ship moves, uh, you might want to be in the outside. Once you figure out what what direction does what, you can go in the cockpit and you'll understand. But uh, uh, sometimes it spawns inside of it and it gets me confused. And uh, here we are. Pretty cool, right guys? Um, this took me like three hours to do. Um, so obviously Halo 5 coming out on well that night actually kind of got me excited. I can't get it because I don't have an Xbox One sadly. But I built this anyways because I was like, hey, let's see if this works. So um, let's uh, let's uh, get in here. Um, whoa, what just happened? It didn't do this before. Wait, oh, it's because I was controlling those. Never mind. All right. Um, alrighty. So my mainframe probably should be moved, but cockpit's up there. Um, it has a very nice little area. Um, I'm sure you guys see this and are like, what the hell? Um. And this is actually, I think you have to be on top of it, actually. What did I put you at, huh? Where are you at? Ah, there you are. Yeah, so it actually has a gate that opens, and you can't be too far away from it, or else it won't open like I'm doing right now. Open. Okay, yeah, there we go. Get in here. All right, now, um, because pelicans, I'm going to go into the outside of the pelicans, um, their wings really don't matter at all because it's not enough surface area to lift a plane traditionally, like a tra traditional way like we do now. Like the wingspan is the length of the plane, so it can actually have the same amount of lift. Um, as you obviously can tell, that's about like half the pelican, not to mention most of the weight is in the front front area and having those back there does not help because it just pushes the plane up and around so I was having issues with that um center of mass is actually right about here and these weren't on it and it kept falling backwards I was like I need to get those on so it can do that so I did that earlier so I get up and the engine and a lead floor helps for the balancing and you need a lot of wings to get this thing airborne. I used all uh, light alloy metal, so it wasn't as heavy if I used metal, but it, it's, it gets there. So um, let's start flying this sucker. Where am I? I'm right here. Uh, all right, so um, unlike this should be, I need to figure out which uh, one it is here real quick. Is that it? All right, so this works. All right, now in the game, pelicans they aim up with their things to go up into the air. But in this game, something went wrong with this one because I made a prototype and it worked exactly like it does in the game. But this one, you have to aim down to go up. So we're gonna aim a little down so it goes straight. Uh, I'm on the right one. So we're going. And then we start aiming down. Aiming down. Oh, I'm, bit, I'm not aiming low enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's kind of like, what the hell. Um, okay, let's, let's go up here. <laughs> um, now, as you can see in the back part, uh, those three jets right in the middle, if you look this way, it'll turn you the opposite direction. And whenever you do that, you look down to this corner and do this. And it will thrust the back of 
uh, the back of the pelican, and then you can turn. Once you get about halfway to where you want to turn, level it out and look the other direction, and uh, it'll level you off. Once you get to, once you can start seeing the horizon over top of the pelican, you might want to look down because you might start diving into the ocean. Um, <laughs> I've tried to go up into space with this and get the ions on the ion thrusters on it, but uh, it didn't work. So I was just like, all right, whatever. Um, it actually, it, it flies pretty nice, honestly. It's just the only issue I have is it's completely reversed on which way the. Uh, limbs, wings, I don't know what you want to call them, go, I forget, I, I'm sure there's a, there's a certain name, thrusters, we'll go with thrusters for now, um, and, uh, I, it annoys me so much, but I deal with it, um, but I was gonna put a, uh, five barrel Gatling gun on the bottom, but because it's a custom weapon, there was gonna be so much stuff in the Pelican, it was probably gonna get completely out of whack with the center of mass, there's gonna be so much weight I'd have to hit like 20 uh, meters a second before I got lift. Um, I was at like 22 whenever I got lift whenever I was in the ocean, but that's because you're in the ocean. <laughs> you have to have your wings like this to even get out. And I'm launching myself up in the sky. So yeah, it's pretty fun, honestly. Um, I was gonna go see how I could put this onto the uh, workshop for you guys, and I forgot to, but once I uh, figure that out, I'll have it on there so you guys can use it if you want to fly around it and whatnot, make your own modifications. Um, that will be all. Holy crap, I'm hitting 30. Oh, that's because I'm going straight down. <laughs> um, that will be all. I will uh, probably keep making stuff like this, um, stuff that you normally wouldn't make because you can't use AI or anything, um, probably once or twice a week maybe, probably two, every two weeks honestly because it takes a while to build this kind of stuff. It took me like a day and a half to get this fully built and colored. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so subscribe to come see more of what I'm going to be making soon and hope you enjoy. Change.